Being ready for a search and rescue mission requires constant training for a call you hope to never get. Lieutenant Junior Grade Curtis Calabrese, a P-3 pilot with VP-4, explains why being ready at a moment's notice is so vital to the success of a mission. The longer time goes by, you have currents that are taking the debris further and further away. The sea state's going to change, and when nighttime sets, it's even harder to find objects. So we have limited uh, daylight hours and hopefully optimal sea states. The first day we went out there, the sea was great, and we could really see objects easily, and that's how we were able to find uh, so many objects within the first 24 hours. When the Skinny Dragons received orders to join the search for the missing Egypt air flight, they knew the chance of finding survivors was slim. We were definitely going out there with the intention to find survivors, hopefully in a life raft or, or with flotation devices. Of course, the longer you're out there and the more debris you see, um, in your head you become less hopeful and it's, it, it kind of hits home a little bit more. What you're doing uh, is it's kind of turning less from search and rescue into search and recovery. But you still have the same mindset that you're going out there, if it's not to rescue someone, it's to give peace of mind to the family. Try to piece together evidence and just figure out what happened on the flight. For the time being, VP4 will remain the eyes in the sky for the Egyptian and Greek authorities searching for answers in the plane's black box. Reporting from Naval Air Station Siganella, I'm Petty Officer Rebecca Sunderland.